So you've got a $1,000 bankroll, and you want to know, how can you build up that small bankroll in order for you to bet every day and get a substantial raw earn in return? I'm Jordan Cooper, a.k.a. Blender at Blender HD. If you're going to follow me on Twitter, and I'll give you the hard truth about building with small bankrolls, and you might be surprised. Right, I have to say that it's on YouTube. The answer might surprise you. Well, I get this form of a question or email or DM very often from two different types of people. Uh, we get uh, the the younger, like you're 22 years old or something, just at a school. You have a you have a regular job, right? But no dependents. You kind of live on your own. You kind of live pretty cheaply, eating the ramen noodles, and. Uh, you want to learn how to uh, bet profitably, uh, advantage play, whether it be poker or or DFS or anything like that. And uh, you have a small little nest egg. Small little, you got a little $1,000 bankroll, right? Uh, on top of, you know, you're paying your rent, you're paying your utilities, everything like that. And you want to spend your spare time building and grinding, right? Everyone because it's you grinding up that bankroll. To a point in which you could replace, you know, your your shitty eight hour a day job with uh, just uh, essentially advantage play or sports betting or DFS. This applies to poker. This applies to any of that uh, type of activity. And uh, by the end of the video, you may be a little a little bit depressed, or you may be uh, maybe it spurs a little bit more uh, more thinking in your mind. Another person that that that. Ask me, this is the, maybe you're in your mid thirties, forties, you have a wife, you have kids, you know, you have a decent paying job or something like that. And uh, you like doing this on your spare time. And Hey, I'm going to devote a little bit of money off to the side for my, you know, funsy fun, but I don't want to go broke. Right. You've, you've learned, you know, those 12 legs, same game parlays aren't the way aren't, aren't those high holds aren't going to, aren't going to win you much unless you get lucky in the long run. And you want to, turn this little small bankroll into, you know, a renovation on the house, a uh, family vacation, things like that, a little supplemental income. Uh, so these are typically the, the two, the two main demographics and what ends up happening. And I'll show here in the, on the screen is that people either over estimate how much money you can make off of small bankrolls or they they underestimate the amount of work it necessarily takes time. They never factor in the time. Because a lot of this stuff is, is fun, right? It's like, oh, this is my hobby. This is my side thing. Which, hey, if you're treating it as just entertainment, just disregard everything that I'm saying. Spend your money. Bet with your little small bankroll and uh, treat it like you're going to the movies. Treat it like you're going out to the bar. Treat it, I mean, you can treat it as any other entertainment expense. But let's say you start with a $1,000 bankroll. And this is the harsh reality of sports betting, right? You're not going to win every day, right? The edges aren't as big as you think they are. But on a small bankroll, picking your spots, just using just bare basic Kelly, that if you're betting around 5% five, 5 of your bankroll a day, so about 50 bucks, right, to start, and you have about a 5% ROI, right? Let's say you're taking just an hour of time, right? We always have to factor time into this. So you're taking an hour, an hour out of your day, right? You come home from work, you know, before in the morning, hey, during work, right? During your lunch hour. And uh, you're finding, you're picking off some of the best uh, plus EV spots, whether you're doing top-down betting, prop betting, anything like that. So with a 5% edge, right, ROI, and you're betting 5% of your bankroll a day, you start out with, you know, you're betting, you know, 50 bucks, right? That's 50% of a thousand. And your 5% ROI on that is $2.50, right? And then that gets added to your bankroll. So remember, you're going to get some exponential growth over time. And I'm not even factoring in variance to this, right? You're going to have swings where you lose a bunch or a lot of swings where you win a bunch. So we're kind of evening that all out. But in general... Like if you do this, you'll your expected earn is about two dollars and fifty cents a day. So let's say you do that for thirty days. Let's say the average month is thirty days. I've I've done a lot of rounding up and estimating just to make the numbers look look a little bit nicer. 
right? And this is just a very, about 5% a day, about 5% ROI, right? Just to, just to have a little ballpark, just to show the concept of how bankrolls are billed. They're billed with, in proportion to what you're starting with, right? It's exponential growth over time, hockey stick. But people underestimate the curve in the beginning. And that all they see is the curve at the end, right? They see, oh, I can make two, $3,000 a day. It's like, yeah, but you need to have the bankroll in order to survive being able to do that. So here you start a month one with a thousand bucks. You better now, you, you take an hour at a time. I'm just very recreationally, right? Just, you, you're not, you're not pouring over things for eight hours or anything like that. An hour a day, you're earning theoretically $2.50. For that hour, 30 times. That's $75 for the month. Then month, you get to the end of month one, you have 1075 in your bankroll. 5% of that, right? Instead of it being 50 bucks, it's going to be a little bit more, right? Goes up a little bit more, percentage-wise. Now you're getting $2.75 a day expected from that, you know, 5% ROI, 5% per day. That's $85 at the end of the, at the end of the second month. Now you're at 1160. Then you generate $87 around, right? These are all rounded numbers. $87. Then you're up to 1247. Then you're up to 1342. By the end of month six, you're at 1551. You've 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 50%ed your bankroll, right? By the end of month 10, you've doubled it, right? 2075. By the end of the end of the year, almost 150% return. Right, you went from a thousand to twenty four hundred dollars, right? Doing this, right? This is fairly reasonable, right? There are going to be outlier results on both ends, but I'm just like this is a kind of a general. Don't let's let's not. Well, I could get seven percent ROI sometimes. Well, I I'll do two percent on certain days because it's a golf day, and certain percentage because it's a basketball day. Dur- different seasons. We're kind of like just removing that 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 type of noise, the ins and outs, just to show. How bankrolls are built. So if you start with a $1,000 bankroll and you just did this, right? At the end of the year, you'd be up $1,400. Okay? Now, remember what I said before about time. People do not factor in time when it comes to advantage play, right? These types of DFS, right? A lot of times, DFS, especially before sports betting, was much more advantageous because the amount of time that you had to put in is minimal for the amount of dollars you could get down. And that still applies today. If you, if you want to, if you want to get $50,000 worth of action, it's the same. It's pretty much the same amount of work to, you know, build your lineups. You know, if you're building 150 for this contest on this side, you're playing head to head, you do whatever, maybe obviously after you've, you know, developed, you know, developed systems and everything. It's an hour, right? You're building the same lineups anyway. Whether or not you play for a hundred bucks or play for $10,000, the time is still the same regardless. That's very much similar to, to sports bet, right? You're putting in this hour, right? And of course, the more hours you put in on this small bankroll, the less of a return per hour that you're getting. So let's say instead of, spending an hour a day on average, you're spending two hours a day on average. Well, now your hourly rate of your work, quote unquote, work, has gone even further down. But even if you only spend an hour a day, so 30 hours a month, and you made $1,400. I mean, what is that? I mean, do the calculation. $1,400, right? 30 hours a month times 12 is 360. Essentially, you're, it's bare, it's not even four bucks an hour. Not even four bucks an hour. Now, you may be having fun if you view it in a way of, wow, here's an activity that I enjoy doing that I used to lose money doing, which is most entertainment activities, right? You pay to go on vacation. You pay to go to an event. You pay, like, you're getting entertainment, but you're you're losing, you're paying out of your wallet. This is entertainment, if you believe it. That you're actually earning, a, at least you're earning a little bit on. But it, I mean, at the end of the year, you only have a $2,400 bank. Okay? Now, let's say you started with a $10,000 bankroll. 
And you did the same thing. Very easy. Very easy to calculate on this chart. I just add a zero and move a decimal point everywhere. So you start with $10,000. 5% a day, 5% ROI. But now instead of $2.50 a day in expected earn, it's $25, which still isn't much, right? At the end of the month, you have 750 bucks extra. So now you're at 10750 Then that goes up and up and up. And you can see how it exponentially grows, right? So by the end of the, the year, you're not at a rate where your expected earn is $60 a day rather than $25 a day. And it, you went from $10,000 to $24,000. Same same hour a day type of scenario. But now you have a $10,000 bankroll. So you made $14,000, right? Divide by 360. That's 38, 39, almost 40 bucks an hour on average. And you're pulling in, now here's month four, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300 a month doing this, an hour a day. Now, as you add more hours, the hourly rate will come down, but the raw money isn't that bad. Let's you oh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend two hours a day on it now. I mean, yeah, the hourly rate is now down to like you know 18, 19 bucks an hour. But you're at least pulling in a thousand. I mean, dude, when you have a ten thousand dollar bankroll by you know, dude, by, by the third month, you're you're the equivalent of like spending like almost the entire year with a thousand dollar bankroll, right? And then you get up to, you go this, you do this, and you get up to a $100,000 bankroll. So see the progression. So you start with a $1,000 bankroll. By the end of the, the year, you're up, you're, 20, you're up to $2,400. By the end of the second year, you're probably up to like 6000 or so, right? So you'll get some exponential growth, right? It's not just, you know, 1400 a year, right? It's just, so basically... Taking that $1,000 bankroll to get to the point where you have a $10,000 bankroll is probably about three-ish years or so with this methodology, right, in general. It's a general concept, right? That's why I like teaching your concepts. We're not going to get into the nitty-gritty. I just want to show, visualize what this looks like. Once you get up to a $10,000 bankroll, assuming you still have the same edge and you're still, you know, betting in the same way, by the time you get up to having a hundred thousand dollar bankroll, it's about three ish years, also. Right. And now you're up to a hundred thousand dollar bankroll. And now, once you start adding zeros to this, now, now you're pulling in, you know, $250 expected earn a day for 30 days, $7,500 for the month. Right. In one month with a hundred thousand dollar bankroll, you, you've done three years worth of work with a one, with a one thousand dollar bankroll. Right, the person that has the same exact edge, the same exact everything, in one month will out earn what someone with a one thousand dollar bankroll has in three years. That's what I talk about with the hockey stick growth. Now, obviously, now I didn't put the what happened. Well, then you do this for three years and you get a million dollar bankroll. You're gonna start hitting once you start getting, especially in this this one hundred thousand dollar bankroll range. You're gonna start hitting issues like limits. Max bets, right? More time. You may need more time to find their spots. You may need to work with people. So, you know, just saying, hey, with $100,000 bankroll, I can make $140,000 this year. Like this way. May not come out to that. It may be less than that because of, uh, you know, finding accounts, you know, uh, getting under the radar, you know, getting the right spots at the right times and getting, you know, certain volume down at certain places. It's a dude. It becomes well, once you get to the million, it becomes much more of an art. Then, then, then it's not a matter of finding finding the edge; it's a matter of getting the money down. But just showing this progression, you start with a thousand dollar bankroll. Three years later, you're up to a ten thousand dollar bankroll, but you're still at a level like, dude, with a ten thousand dollar bankroll like this, your earn at the end of the year is like what fourteen thousand dollars. You can't quit your job on that, right? Most places, unless you're living in, I don't know, Laos or somewhere, I don't know, some really, I mean, obviously, you know, sports betting would even be legal there, but an extremely, extremely low standard of living. 
Now, this type of money, $14,000, that, that's a, that, you know, you renovate your bathroom, you, you, you know, you get, uh, you know, down, down payment on a new car or something, or, you know, just, hey, pay off part of your mortgage or whatever. Like, it, it, sure, it's nice. It's nice supplementary, supplementary shit. That's on a $10,000 bankroll. Like this may, you may look at this and go, oh, that this is, this is something I would like to do. But if you start with a $1,000 bankroll, it'll take you three years in order to get there, right? And if you're looking at the $100,000 bankroll going, oh, this is, this is a, this is a bankroll where it looks like, you know, I mean, I could, I could quit my job or, you know, or you know, go, go to part-time or something, or, you know, have this be a much more major part of how you, how you generate income. Well, how do you get to a hundred thousand dollar bankroll? Right, you got to start somewhere, right? Do you start with a, th a ten thousand dollar bankroll? Do you start with a one thousand dollar bankroll? If you start with a one thousand dollar bankroll, and you want to get to a hundred thousand dollar bankroll, I'll see you in six years. Have fun. People look at that and go, "Really, six years?" Yes. Assuming you still have an edge over that time, obviously, six years from now, the whole landscape could be different. You may find bigger edges elsewhere. You may find, I mean. Dude, this is just, you know, just everything's static. So people may look at this $1,000 bankroll and go, geez, is it this bleak, right? Because people think that maybe you could turn $1,000. Oh, by the end of the year, I'll have, uh, have $100,000 off $1,000. It's like, not unless you find some angle that no one knows about and you push to the max and don't care about if you go broke. Sure. So what do I say? What do I say to the people that say that they have a thousand dollar bankroll? I say the thing that I that I mentioned before that so few people take into account time investment. Time investment. When you have a hundred thousand dollar bankroll, you see right here. If I'm earning, you know, seventy five hundred dollars a month, I I I could spend I could spend forty hours a week on that, right? If you spend 40 hours a week to earn uh, $7,500, right? Let's say there's four weeks in a, in a month, like on average, right? 7,500 divided by 160. I mean, that's like 46, 47 bucks an hour. The grand scheme of things, that's a pretty good job, right? Are you going to get rich, rich? Are you having a Ferrari? No. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's the equivalent of a, I mean, you have, you essentially have a full-time job. You could pay your shit. You could pay your bill. You could have a nice life, right? And a $10,000 bankroll, not so much, right? Let's say you're not, let's say you're obviously not spending 40 hours a week on this. Because if you're spending 40 hours a week on this, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be able to pay, pay, you wouldn't be able to pay your bills, right? Even when you get up to $24,000, right? $1,800, you're spending four, 40 hours a week. I mean, it's 11 bucks an hour. I mean, that's, <coughs> I mean, that isn't, that isn't a good life, I mean, in my opinion, at least. I mean, it's sustainable, at least. But you have to get to this point in order, in order to build your bankroll. That's what everyone says. I want to build my bankroll. So you know what I always say what the answer is, right? People are surprised. I think I may be the only one. I think I'm the only one. If you go on all these YouTube videos, you'll probably you'll probably see you'll probably see some 24 year old who lives with his parents still. You'll probably see that, and uh, not many expenses, not many anything, not nothing. They say they started with a thousand dollar bankroll, right? So then in the online poker days, right? That's how I built my bankroll. <laughs> I mean, it's literally the same thing. 23 years old, 22, 23, playing on poker stars and. 20, 2002, 2003, thousand dollar bankroll playing low limit, limit poker on poker stars. I had a regular job that about a thousand dollar bankroll. And that's how I built my poker bankroll because the time investment, like the opportunity cost was, was nothing. Right. So my suggestion is that if you have a thousand dollar bankroll, Instead of grinding out, spending a year to make $1,400, just get another job. Just get another job. Okay? Sounds weird. Sounds weird. What do you mean? 
I said, I wouldn't sports bet at all. I'd say, get another job. You could get, I mean, look, 1400 bucks. How long does it take? If if you, if, especially if you're like in their twenties, if it's the first example in my, in my, that I said before, that's like, you have, you have a, you know, you have a regular job, you know, you work in some office somewhere or whatever like that. And you have plenty of free time outside of that. You have to spend time with the kids, time with the wife, time with the whatever. And instead of going out and getting drunk at the bar or going to concerts or whatever the fuck you're going to do on the weekend and after after work, you're going to take time to do this. Instead of just doing this, just go get it. Go get a job at Chick-fil-A. I'm serious. People oh, ah, ha, 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 get cry emojis in the fucking comments. Just go get a job at Chick-fil-A. It pays what, 16 bucks an hour? At least around here. Go get it. Go get a 15 with the go get a job with a, a take home pay of 15 bucks an hour. Okay. Let's say you take home 15 bucks an hour. And whatever. I mean, it, dude, mow lawns. I mean, whatever, whatever that is. So get 15 bucks an hour. So let's say you do that 30 hours a month. The same amount of times if we just said an hour a day or an hour. 30 times 15 is $450. How much could we add up that equals $450 here? I mean, that's like that that your one month of doing that is the equivalent of like three or four months, starting with a $1,000 bank. It's the equivalent of, you know, a month, a half a month, and if you had a $10,000 bank. But like one month of doing that. And let's say, you do more instead of 30 hours a month, right? You get you you do uh you know 15 hours a week, right? You have to you take 12 hours a week, you take a day and a half part-time job at the fucking whatever. Just part-time at the UPS store, whatever. I mean, whatever job. I mean, this is these are shitty jobs. I'm not saying that it's that it's great. You get 15 bucks an hour. You work what? 50 hours a month, right? That's $750, right? I mean, dude, $750, that's like this whole thing with the $1,000 bankroll and grinding this out is only 1,400 bucks for the entire year. <clears throat> if you could make $700 a month part-time, you could get to that one year mark in two months. That's the equivalent. It's like, okay, do I want to work? Do I want to work at this garbage place or whatever the fuck for two months and then not work, then literally quit and then just start my bankroll with $2,400? You're saving 10 months doing it. You're saving 10 months doing it. Let's say instead of quitting then, you keep on going, right? You have a part-time job, $15, $15 an hour, right? 12 hours a week, Right? Let's say 12 hours a week times 52 weeks is 624 hours. 624 hours times 15 is 9360. <coughs> so if you worked an entire year, right, at that at that job, and you put all the money that you worked there, because remember, you have a rather regular job. I mean, this is it's the same thing as before. Just instead of, oh, I have a thousand dollar bankroll and in my off time, I'm going to do some sports betting. Instead of that, you say, I'm not going to do any sports betting and I'm going to work for an a part time job, 12 hours a week for $15 an hour for an entire year. And then you put all of that money in your bankroll. By the end of the year, you'd be at If you started with the with thousand dollars, it would take you three years to get to this point. So, do you want to chop off two years of getting up to that ten thousand dollar bankroll? Well, then get a job, and then you feel free to quit it then, and then just do this. That that's fine. <coughs> now, I want to highlight the last thing. People may look at this and go, "What are you, the whole video is based around you go getting a job. Yeah, I'm showing you. I'm showing you what the what your time is worth. But if you're starting with a $1,000 bankroll, obviously you're probably inexperienced. You're probably going to make some mistakes, right? 
when you I, if you're starting with a hundred thousand dollar bankroll and you don't know what you're doing, maybe you maybe you're not getting a five percent ROI. Maybe you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. Even even when you have a ten thousand dollar, I mean, there's plenty of whales that have a million dollars and are horrible at sports betting. They're betting five leg SGPs and you know lines that are thirty cents that better on other places. I mean, that the, the the average sports better is awful. Okay. If you can't grind a thousand dollar bankroll up to twenty four hundred dollars by the end of the year like this, then it's not like like well, if I just had ten thousand, I would do like like this is the easiest thing to do. Very similar to poker, right? If you can't beat the softest games, the cheapest nothing games, like what do you expect at fucking at the higher limits, right? If you're in DFS. And you're like, I'm going to play the dollar contests. It's like, you're not going to, you're, you're not going to be able to quit your job playing the dollar contests. I'm sorry. You're not going to be able to, but if you can't beat the dollar contest, you ain't beating the 10 or $25 contests. If you can't win the mini max ever, if you're losing money, you're playing head to heads, right? The lower variance level. If you're playing $1 head to heads. And you have a minus 4% ROI, like, you, you're not going to, well, I wish I would have just started with a bigger bankroll. It's like, what, so you could lose 8% now at the higher stakes? The reason why you're building your bankroll is so you can make more raw money. If I could make, if I could make a living off a of dollar head-to-heads in DFS, I'd be playing dollar head-to-heads in DFS. And how much money can you make? I get, I get $100 down. Even with a 15% edge, if I had that with, wow, 15 bucks a day. I mean, that's, I mean, barely live anywhere. $15 a day. I mean, that you're on commercials and you're part of feed, feed the hunger commercials and feed the children. $15 a day. So the only reason that I could see that why you wouldn't just go out and just get some part-time job in order to build your $1,000 bankroll to a level in which it's worthwhile to put the time in to do it would be because you're learning. It's like, okay, making mistakes, betting 50 bucks a day of a $1,000 bankroll, much much easier to learn, much cheaper. The mistake is 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 doesn't cost you as much as I'm not going to do, I'm not going to learn anything until I have a hundred thousand dollar bankroll and then just expect to just be great. Right. And never make any mistakes. Right. And know exactly what you're doing. Hopefully you're here at my channel. You know, you're looking, you're looking to learn. So if you still don't know how to convert odds or, you know, judge markets and what, you know, it, Evaluate what projections are and all the all the the basic statistics and economics of sports betting. Start with a thousand dollar bankroll, but your goal is not to like make raw money. Your goal is to just be profitable. Dude, your goal is to just break even. 98% of betters lose money. Be part of the 2% first and then go, okay. Now that I've that I I I that I my proof of concept that I can actually do this. Maybe it could be the type of thing that you start with a thousand dollar bankroll. You do this for a couple of months and go, I think I got the hang of it. And then you stop and you, you get another job. And you three months later, you come back with an even bigger bankroll. And then it's like, okay, now it's worth it. If that was your goal, if your goal is, I want to be able to make 15, $20,000 a year. Supplementally. Or if your goal is even grander than that of like, I want to make 50, 75, $100,000 a year and not have a shitty office job. Same type of thing. But if you already know what you're doing, right? If you already know what you're doing, saying I'm going to take a thousand dollar bankroll, I'm grind it up, right? We see these challenges. Build up your bankroll from a hundred dollars. It's like, go and go work, go. Chick-fil-A is always hiring. It seems like Chick-fil-A is always hiring. I don't know. It seems like whenever whenever I go, 
to drive through whatever. They're always hiring at sixteen, seventeen dollars. They give with benefits. They always have signs out, right? Unemployment is low now, so like you know, people are paying a little bit more. Yeah, it's not as enjoyable. It's like would would I rather sit and watch sports and and bet on bet on the games and you know if you like the math stuff and the challenge of everything? Yeah, I prefer that also. But I'm also at a point where I don't have a thousand dollar bankroll. I have a I have a bankroll more like this, right? And I'm conservative, so it's not like I'm even doing like five percent of down. I'm spreading it out on a lot of things, whether it be DFS, poker, any of these little peer to peer games. And then some days I take off. Some some sports I don't play anymore. Some sports I do play. I have a lot more freedom. Like this. But when he's if I, if, I mean, if you just gave me a thousand dollar bankroll right now and just say you have nothing but a thousand dollars, I mean, my first instinct would be shit, I gotta go out and get a job. And I'm not I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna put anything down. I'm not gonna get any money down. I'm not gonna go out just like in rounders. Mike McD driving Kanish's truck. That's the best way to build a bankroll. But don't try to do these 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 stupid hundred dollars to a hundred thousand dollar challenges or anything like that. Like you'd be much better served based on showing just exactly how the math kind of works out. Going from a thousand to ten thousand to a hundred thousand. What the time horizon looks like. <clears throat> don't waste your time on things where you could make three or four times more money doing something else in order to get to at least get to your goal where you could say, okay, fuck that. I'm doing this now. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the chat. This is kind of a little bit of a therapy session, a little explanation. People think you could bank, build a bankroll like a thousand dollars to 10,000 in a month. I mean, unless, unless, unless you're, High variance, getting what you know, something like that. That is not realistic, right? That 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 would be that would be at, at the amount of times that you're able to do that. Ten times you go broke in the process. So sometimes it works out for you, great. And if you could replenish the thousand dollars again and again, technically you don't even have a thousand dollar bankroll, right? If you can replenish that again and again and again with no issue. Then you really maybe you do you do you have a ten thousand dollar bankroll. So hit that like button. Even if you don't like the message, if you don't like the message of get a job, go get a job. Hit the like button. Send me your comments. Any questions for the mailbag? Always post them in the comments. I answer everything. And I'll see you next time for another Theory Thursday.